Today's show is sponsored by Indie Film Hustle's Filmmaker Process. We provide filmmakers with professional services to get their films or series funded, finished, and distributed. For more information, go to filmmakerprocess.com. When you're looking at scripts for your clients, what are you looking for? I mean, is it just basically, I just need a good story, but is there anything specific in the scripts that maybe could give some tips to, to screenwriters? You know, I, I think generally speaking, um, I do not have a checklist. Uh, I always say that I look at scripts holistically. I'll read any script that is given to me. I will read it from beginning to end, even if I know by page 12 that the script is terrible. Uh, because actually, sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes on page 12 and 15 and even 30, I'm like, oh, my God, this script is so boring. And then a little bit later on, something happens. A Beautiful Mind, for example, I remember reading that for Russell Crowe and and just wanting to toss it aside because I was like, oh, my God, this is just like a perfunctory spy thriller. And I was like, this is so boring. And then you get to that twist and you have the rug pulled out from under you. If I had tossed that script aside by page 30, and listen, I still think that that twist should have been moved up a little bit earlier in the script. But regardless, if I had tossed it aside, you know, things might have been a little different for Russell Crowe. So, um, so I've learned my lessons over the years to stick with scripts. I, I, I also learn a lot from bad writing. I actually learn more from bad writing than I do good writing. But in answer to your question, um, because I'm looking for talent, my eye is, is always drawn most importantly to the protagonist of the story, the role that my client might play. So for me, I'm looking at that. And um, uh, how does that character evolve? What is the character's journey through the story? How active is the character? How does the character change? Uh, uh, how does conflict inform the character? Uh, these are things that I look at. So often I'll read a script where sort of the stuff on the periphery I don't think is very good, but I'll say this is a terrific role. And not all that long ago, and uh, I'll make this a blind item, but there was a screenplay that I read for a client and I thought the role was amazing, but I really felt like the story went off the tracks at about midpoint. And then for the second half of the script, I didn't really have a clue what it was about, but I was like, man, this is a good role. And that client made that film and won an Oscar nomination for best actor. For wow. Him. So, um, you know, so my eye is always drawn first and foremost to the character and, uh, and, 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 and how I see the client in that role. Uh, so that's first and foremost for me. So that's what's really important to me. I mean, in, a lot of times I find this, I've been speaking to so many different people in the industry and writers and screenwriters. I, I've come to realize that character, I mean, plot is very important. But you don't generally remember plots of movies. You remember characters of movies. Like I can, I remember Indiana Jones. Do I remember the plot of Raiders of the Lost Ark? Yes, because I've seen it a thousand times. But if you put my my feet to the fire on Temple of Doom, I kind of remember the plot. But I remember, right. I remember the characters. I remember all of those characters so right. clearly. And most importantly, at least from my experience, is that we remember the the emotionality. Yeah. Attached to the character. Um, because ultimately, you know, uh, movies, screenplays, any art form, at least in my opinion, uh, is, um, is an emotional experience, mm -hmm. uh, right? You know, if you, if you go back to Aristotle, it's all about catharsis. So it, so it is, it is about emotion. And for me, when I read a screenplay, I want to be moved, for me, a screenplay is never, should never be an intellectual exercise. That hmm. doesn't mean that it can't be smart. It doesn't mean that it can't explore intellectual subjects, but ultimately it has to be emotional. And, uh, 
And so if I read a screenplay and uh, I feel the same way at the end as I did at the beginning, it's probably a pass. To watch the rest of this interview, head over to bulletproofscreenwriting.tv.